when president uhuru mugai kenyatta and his deputy william samoe ruto took over office in 2013 three people became jobless in this country mwai kibaki who was the president of the republic of kenya retired to his home in othaya Raila Molo Odinga, who was the Prime Minister of the Republic of Kenya, stopped being the Prime Minister of the Republic of Kenya because the new constitution removed that office. And the deputy and uh, the Vice President then, Kalonzo Musyoka, also stopped being the Vice President of the Republic of Kenya because there was a new office, the office of the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, occupied by the Deputy President William Samoei Ruto. But in their wisdom, the parliament, before, the, the, before Mwai Kibaki's of term in office expired, enacted an act. And that act awarded these three gentlemen some kind of benefits. And when Uhuru and Ruto took over office, they saw an opportunity to frustrate Railo Dinga and Karazo Musioka. They saw that pension scheme as a very good opportunity for them to convince Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Musyoka to exit political scene. But because Raila Odinga and Kalonzo were still hesitant, they still wanted to stay in politics, they pushed on with politics. And the two gentlemen, Uhuru and Ruto, then around 2015, mobilized their numbers in parliament and officially passed another act in parliament, which stopped payment of pension scheme to Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Musyoka. But court ruled in favor of Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Musyoka. But up to now, these two gentlemen, Kalonzo Musyoka and Raila Odinga, have not received a single cent from the government. But over, the, over this past week, news emerged that Treasury had allocated Raila Odinga 72 million Kenya shillings for his office. So today I want us to look at the inside politics about these 72 million Kenya shillings which was awarded to Raila Amolo Odinga in his office. But before we do that, if you are bumping on this video for the first time, I want you to take a second or two and hit the subscribe button so that next time you produce a video like this one, you get notified. Now back to the main issue. Raila Odinga and Kalonzo Musyoka were entitled to a pension scheme and it's not a small amount of money it's huge and the two of them cumulatively are owed 1.5 billion kenya shillings but the government awarded Raila Odinga recently in the budgets not yet approved 72 million kenya shillings towards his office now let us go back and i want to explain to you what Raila Odinga is entitled to as part of that scheme and i want you to listen very carefully in that pension scheme which is what Raila is getting is almost equal to what kalonzo is getting and the other people who are entitled to this is the speaker marende there's marende there's equithuro then there is uh kaparo and i think the chief justice mutunga now this is what Raila Odinga is entitled to number one Raila Odinga is entitled to a monthly pension scheme. That one he will be paid monthly. It's supposed to be paid monthly. 589 Kenyan shillings. Every single month, Raila Dinga is supposed to have been paid or to be paid that amount of money from the time he stopped being the Prime Minister of the Republic of Kenya. Apart from that, Raila Dinga and Kanozo Musioka were supposed to be paid some lump sum payment of around 8.8 .8 million Kenya shillings. They've not been paid that. That amount of money, I, I think it's calculated based on the amount they earned. You can talk of something like gratuity. Something they earned during the time they were the prime minister and the vice president. So Raila Dinga is entitled to 8.8 .8 million. Kalonzo is also was supposed to be paid that, not yet. The other thing is full allow allowance. Raila Dinga is supposed to be given a full allowance by the government per month of 110,000 Kenya shillings every single month. Raila Odinga is also supposed to be given two drivers. Two drivers. He's entitled to two drivers paid 
for by the government of Kenya. Then Raila Odinga is also supposed to have one, one accountant paid for by the government. So yule mwenye atakuwa naona okay mzee amekula hii pesa imeingia hivi nini nini 1000 I mean one accountant atangalia mzee sahihi leo ametumia okay imebaki pesa ngapi government ilitumia hii one accountant paid for by the government Reno Dinga is also entitled to two cooks ile chakula na kula ya yeah? you know ni baba ile chakula na kula nini so wenye wanampikia kwa nyumba yake kama ameenda bondo mwingine labda Nairobi is entitled to two cooks Reno Dinga is also entitled to two secretaries as a former prime minister and Kalonzo also as a former vice president Raila Odinga is entitled to two secretaries. So kama nataka kuandikia uhuru barua, secretary anaka chini ta 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 raka raka. Uhuru. Kama kuna correspondence, he wants to go somewhere or he wants to do any anything secretarial. So he's entitled to two to two secretaries. Raila Odinga is also entitled to armed security. Wale wanachunga nyumba yake bondo. Kuna wale wanachunga nyumba yake Karen wale wanachunga nyumba ofisi yake wale anatembea nao na wale kama kuna nyumba nyingine somewhere he is entitled to security because he served this country that's according to that act this is these are things which the government ought to have been doing for Raila Odinga then Raila Odinga is also entitled to three vehicles zile gari ya jacom three but government so these three vehicles two are supposed to be saloon definitely ya kombing mtu wa jamani two of them will be bands zile kubwa ndogo and then a viet kubwa hata kama nataka hama but 4x4 moja saloon ndogo he sent out to tours and those three vehicles are replaced every four years so four years ikifika kipita like assuming vile Raila le retire in 2013 The government ought to have given him those three vehicles then after four years they take them then again another four years they take them they bring another one then they take them the, the next thing is medical cover Raila Odinga is also entitled to a medical cover for the family and himself you know it's old So the pension scheme is very clear. Yakom is entitled to a medical cover, Kalonzo, former speakers and the rest. So th that was an act of parliament. Yakom is also entitled to a cleaner. Aki aki akienda mahali anataka kuketi kuna mtu anafaa a clean the surfaces. Yule mwenye anaamoshia nguo, okay kama kwa ofisi to make sure ofisi yake ku clean nini nini. I don't know whether it's a garden or also, but it's also is entitled to a cleaner is also entitled to a housekeeper. Huyu ni wa laundry anaangalia kama nguo zake ziko sawa. You know, kama jakoma mama leo hiyo safi kabisa zimekuwa ironed nini. So those are some of the things Raila Odinga is entitled to monthly as a former prime minister of the Republic of Kenya. Moi Kibaki on the other side and former president Daniel Moi were also are also entitled to but for them they've been earning this so mwiki baki is earning 3000 million kenya shillings every single month apart from apart from uh, these other benefits remember even the president the the president of the republic of is not earning 3 million mwiki baki earns 3 million kenya shillings every single month and again when he retired the government of kenya constructed for mwiki baki a residence at a cost of 400 kenya 400 million Kenyan shillings. So when news came that Raila Odinga office had been allocated allocated 72 million Kenyan shillings. I asked myself because I felt that timing might not have been right. But again I've figured out and I've looked at the whole thing and I read a lot of politics. And I think Uhuru Kenyatta is sending out clear messages. Because Why would the amount of money 72 million raise a lot of concern? While Raila Odinga was being allocated 72 million Kenya shillings, former president Daniel Rotiche Arap Moi, who, who is already dead, was allocated 126 million Kenya shillings. 
He's not there. But his office has been allocated there. Why would that even happen? Now let us break down. Let me break down for you. These 72 million Kenya shillings. These 72 million Kenya shillings. How it's going to be distributed? Because there's something in that 72 million Kenya shillings. Because the other question is, if why give Raila Odinga and not Kalonzo Musioka? They are both alive. Why not give it to the other former president? Moody Awori and even Musalia Mudavadi. The two are alive. Now let's get to real business. Out of the 72 million, I want you to listen keenly. 10 million, 10 million Kenya shillings has been set aside for office furnitures and general equipments. So I've been to Capitol Hill several times. So the, 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 the offices there, I mean, if it has to be equipped with equipment and the rest, 10 million. <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering what will be put there. So probably they are planning another office. I'd stay on. But that's it. 10 million is allocated for office furnitures and equipment. Number two, 26 million. No, that's not 36. We're at 36 million. 26 million for vehicle and other transport equipment. So they are coming to me 26 million for vehicles. I don't know whether he's going to purchase new vehicles or not. And if there's any transport equipment, like if you want specialized, customized communications equipment in this vehicle. So it's, it's been allocated 26 million for vehicles and those equipments. <laughs> then there is 4.3, I mean 4.2 million. Now we are now at uh, 30, 30.2 million. This one is for vehicle maintenance. We are talking of 4.2 million. 4.2 million for vehicle maintenance. So what is what is this that Jacob is going to use to an extent that his vehicles will be maintained at that annual? Then there is 1.5 million. Listen to that. 1.5 million for fuel. 1.5. Now the fact is that 72 million Kenya shillings, which has been allocated to the office of the former prime minister, is a drop in the ocean compared to what ideally he ought to have been allocated. Kalonzo and Raila cumulatively is owed 1.5 million Kenya shillings. But Kalonzo is not, has not been awarded this. And I'm talking of this because the guy who was in charge, the chairman of the budget committee in parliament, is none other than Kimani Ishungwa. Kimani Ishungwa is a key ally of the deputy president William Samuel Ruto and a non-hater of Raila Amondo Dinga, which means he even had the option of, of refusing to allocate this. But remember, we are facing a crisis, and the government found an opportunity to deny Raila Odinga what is right for him. And I remember one guy called uh, Kip Korir, Donald Kip Korir, the Don, feeling that the amount of money, the 72 million which was being awarded to Raila Odinga, was kind of disrespect to Raila Odinga because this guy is owed billions. But now let us go into inside politics. What message are we getting from this particular move by the government to allocate Raila Odinga 72 million? Why now? And why is it that the rest are not being allocated this money? In my view, it's all about politics. And I can read several things. The first thing I want to read is that probably Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga and the BBI, we are expecting building bridges initiative. So I think the system wants Raila Odinga to have an office which is going to use to coordinate the campaigns. I'm saying this because I've, I'm looking at the figures. That's why I told you to listen very keenly to these figures. Office furniture and general equipment alone has been allocated 10 million Kenya shillings. So which kind of office is that? Which kind of office is that? So I strongly believe that an, an, another office is being created for Raila Odinga away from the Capitol Hill. And this office is going to be furnished fully. And the purpose is, re, is really, in my view, to prepare for the BBI campaigns. Because remember, 
immediately after this crisis is over, this country is going to engage in high voltage politics. The BBI campaigns. So I want to believe that Uhuru Kenyatta is preparing an office for Raila Odinga to prepare for the Building Bridges Initiative so that these political activities will no longer be happening at the office of the former Prime Minister, his private office at Capitol Hill. Now there's going to be another office furnished with public money where you as a, as a public, as a senior citizen of the country, you can go there into that office and ask for whatever you want. So that's number one. Number two, I also think that Uhuru Kenyatta is sending a message to his deputy William Samairuto. And the message is very clear that I'm embraced, uh, I have embraced this guy. So this guy is part and parcel of us. Remember, the guy who was leading onslaught on Raila Dinga should retire before being given the pension was none other than the deputy president. He was the one. Now the government is allocating this guy some money to run his office. What has changed? So the president is basically communicating to his deputy that I've embraced Raila Dinga. And that's why I'm allocating his office this money. Assuming we didn't have this corona something, what would be the situation? This amount would have even been higher. And remember, the DP is going to contest in 2022. The reason Raila Dinga and Kalonzo Musiaka were not awarded this money was the fear that if they were awarded this money, they would have offices paid for by the taxpayers' money. They, have, they will have vehicles paid for by the bought and paid for by the taxpayers' money. And this would, re would really readily be used by them during campaigns to advance their political agenda. Now we have a deputy president who is running, we have a president who is not running, and now the president is seeing it fit because he's not running to empower the two officers. So what message? Purely is telling the, the deputy that, my friend, I'm ready now with Raila Amolo Odinga. Number three. Number three, I think the president is also showing commitments towards the handshake. Because once they had this handshake, that's when the president now agreed to disperse some of this money. I, I think it was last year. The handshake was in uh, 2018. Then now they agreed that the money for him and Kalonzo were going to be given out. But now because of this kind of a crisis, it was difficult for the government to allocate billions towards that money, towards these two individuals, because Kenyans were going to complain, just like they have already complained on one on 72 million. But the fact is that handshake is the reason why this money is being given out. And some people have always asked me a simple question. I also was also asking myself initially, but I've understood it. And they were asking, what about the timing? Why can't these guys wait? And I have, I've, I've realized that already the government has allocated 40 billion. 40 billion. And the parliament has to pass it. 72 million is like if you have, let's say, 800,000 in your account. And someone is asking you for 1,500 or even 800 more. So you can easily go. So government of Kenya is run on trillion budget. So what is 72 million? And again, 72 million cannot... Say, for example, Kenyans are stuck in China. Do you strongly believe that the government can't afford to bring them back home if they wanted? Do you think because they, the reason why those guys are stuck there is because the government is allocating 72 million to the office of the prime minister? No. So I think as Kenyans, we must also learn to fight for justice. If Raila Odinga is facing injustice for political reasons, like he can't get his uh, pension, then you must fight for, for him. If Kenyans are stuck in China because the government cannot allow, find, find money for them, then you must fight for them. I don't know what you think, but in my view, that's the inside politics of Raila Odinga's pension scheme. I don't know what you think, and if you're bumping on this video for the first time, I want you to Take a second or two and just click the subscribe button here so that next time you produce a video like this, you get notified. Thank you guys and please may you have a good day. And by the way, my next video is actually on the Ruaye farm land which was grabbed 
by the deputy president William Samoei Ruto, but has been repossessed by the government of Kenya. That's my next video, and I really want to hear your thoughts on that. So if you have your thoughts on that particular matter, please reach out to me on my WhatsApp number, which is 0777-741323. And yes, like I keep on saying, the only request I make on this platform is one. Help me create interactions on this platform. How do you help me create interactions? Simple. Just drop a comment on what you think of this particular video. You can share the link to your friends, groups you are in, WhatsApp groups, maybe even emails to people you know. But the best one is just drop your comments on this. But again, if you like the video, just give it a thumbs up. If you hate it, just thumbs down. Because those signals also help me. If the video is good, I'll know the kind of contents you guys like. If the contents they are high, then I know the video is not good. So I'll figure out on how to improve. So just give the video a thumbs up if you like it. And again, drop your comment. Thanks, thank you guys and please may you have a good day.